What's up everybody, Durag Pack at it again with another update on Ready or Not. So recently, if you haven't heard, a YouTuber that goes by Tactical Playground managed to get an interview with Easy Street. Those of you that don't know who Easy Street is, he's the creator of the SEF mod for SWAT 4. The mod basically makes the game 10 times better in my opinion. Easy Street was acquired by Void Interactive fairly recently and he runs the Ready or Not Discord and also lurks their Reddit. Both links in the description. So the interview, I'm just going to give you guys a summary of the interview, but if you want to watch it, I will link it in the the description for you guys to listen to. So basically the beginning talks about the man himself, Easy Street. He talks about how he started and where he currently is and where he's going. And then he talks about his mod. He explains that he wanted to make things like SWAT 4, but better. The way that he stated it, he said that he had no idea as to what he was doing. There was quite literally no manual, so he had to fiddle with it. So he was on his own. He said that it was a very long process trying to figure out the code and limitations. But when he finally figured it out, he was able to add everything that he wanted. And we got the SWAT 4 that is today. A SWAT 4 that has a lot more features than the original game itself. And then he proceeds to talk about the team that's currently developing the same mod at the moment. He says that as soon as he's done working on the Ready or Not trailer, he's going to go back to work on the mod and finish up version 7. He believes that this might be the last version until further notice. And then he proceeds to talk about version 7 and saying basically what's in it, which there's a lot of interesting stuff, I gotta say. Then he talks about how he gets hired. I mean, from an outside perspective, I can already tell that they basically hired him because he worked on a mod that's essentially like what, you know, Ready or Not is trying to go for, so that's basically what he explains for the most part. Then he goes on to explain the process of getting hired, and that was pretty interesting. He talks about what he actually does for Ready or Not, and he basically explains that he does interface, like the UI, and from what I played in the SEF mod for Swap 4, he doesn't do a bad job, I gotta say. Then when he starts talking about the Ready or Not stuff, he kind of deflects by saying you're gonna have to wait until after the trailer, or when the trailer drops, you know, stuff like that. Then they go on to talk about map sizes, and Easy Street basically said that they're about the same size as uh, SWAT 4s, if not maybe bigger. And he says, depending on the maps, they can get claustrophobic. So uh, we'll see how that goes. After they're done covering level design, they decide to push on to how smart the AI is. And it's a pretty interesting conversation because they're saying that AI is 10 times smarter than the SWAT 4 ones, which is to be expected. After that, they talk about voice acting in specific situations. Like you're in a firefight and then your guy has to reload and then he starts screaming out, reloading, reloading, you know, things like that. Then he follows up with uh, speech recognition, which was in SWAT 4, but it never truly worked for me, so I have to wonder how it's going to work in Ready or Not, or if it's even going to work. And then they start to talk about the point system and how it specifically works, which I don't think Easy Street answers all of this, but, you know, he, he gets... A majority of it down i guess and then they go on to talk about leaderboards and ranking systems um they said that they already had those in place and they're powered by something called sparks i don't know what that is but they go on to explain that and it sounds pretty interesting afterwards he says that they are actually in the process of recording the trailer at right now and then he goes on to say that the game has come a very long way since that missed july release of the trailer they said that they're pretty close to releasing it so hopefully it's coming around the corner and then they go on to talk about carcosa and then he says that there is a reward at the end of Carcosa. Interesting, very interesting. But he's telling us to not dig too deep or not dig too fast. That's not that's not a clue. He's just he's just suggesting. You don't want to exhaust yourself. He's saying that Carcosa is somehow related to the trailer. Like what? If we find Carcosa, we find the trailer. Is that what you're trying to tell me? He's and Bosch doesn't mean anything apparently. And then he goes on to talk about his nickname, which you know, Easy Street, which it seems like he's had it for a while. He talks about his Modern Warfare two days and then. And that's basically the end of the interview. So overall, not bad. Uh, worth a listen, I would say. Uh, link is in the description if you want to go listen to it. I think the last thing that I want to say here is that the Red or Not Community Podcast is going to get set up on a YouTube channel. As soon as that goes up, I'm going to place the link in the description for you guys to click on. And uh, yeah. There's also, we also did an interview with uh, Easy Street, and he had a lot to say because a lot of people asked a bunch of different questions uh, about the game. So um, yeah. You want to check that out? I will put the link in the description eventually too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, you know, it's something out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I guess we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.